Hello YouTubers, thanks for watching our channel Plasma Punch and welcome to our latest episode of Listed. Today's Listed is our top 5 horror movies. Okay then Chris, so what's your number 5? Our number 5 for me is Drag Me to Hell. Yeah, I like that film really because you know Sam Raimi's first horror film in a while, and it's got basically everything that I wanted to see in it. It's got you know, demons. It's got a gypsy woman that pukes in some girl's face, yeah, sure. the main character's face, and uh, a twisty ending where you, you thought it was all resolved, and then it all went to hell. Spoiler alert. You should have watched it by now, for fuck's sake. <laughs> okay, my number five is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The original. the original, yes, yes, yes. Only because the film's a lot more gritty. And back then, no, I was not born then, before you said it. <laughs> before my time, obviously. But um, it just had a lot of more realism to it. And the way the girl showed her fear was just brilliant. It was just, and I just love, I love Leatherface. It's a bit like snuffified sort of uh, way of doing it as well. Yes, it? It's yes, really it's proper very... like, you know, realism. Yes, yes, very realism. So number four. Number, number four, four for me is Sinister, the first Sinister film. I know it's reasonably new, but I, I went and watched it in the cinema. It's quite original. It was, it, it was like, oh my God. Seriously, that sounds weird, but I actually screamed a little bit, like when he jumped and oh, well, you know when Ethan Hawke goes up into the attic and he sees those all the kids there and his head just drops in front of him. Yeah, yeah I pulled myself a little bit. You pulled yourself a I little did bit. a little, little pop, a little turn. So it was, it was yeah. quite an original scare. It was, feel. it was, but it was a story. The the actual character, the 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 boogeyman character as well. I thought really, probably well, was awesome. Yeah, it sure just is. really scared the crap out of me. And yours is? Mine is Henry, portrait of a serial killer. Don't know if you've seen I it. I haven't seen that. That's got Merlin, hasn't it? It's got a. Um, yes, it has. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. That film gave me nightmares for a long time, and I still can't watch it now without feeling the feeling of dread. If you know what I mean. Okay. Yeah. Because it's there's no. It's not really action. It's a long, dragged out film. For every, but it's it's just the way it is. It's it's like filmed a lot like Man Bites Dog. If you've seen that. It's very, it's very that, no, documentary style. More realism, so yeah, it's very, very you realism. get the it's just... thinking that yo, this dude could exist in yeah, the yeah. world, damn, like, you know. And because all his killings are different, it's not, he's not like a slasher. He does different things, so we can never get caught. I'm gonna have to watch that. I've been very wanting to watch it, but it's like it's old school, you know. But it's it, it, it's daunting. I might poo myself. Yeah, it's, not, it a, it's, no, it's not a jumpy film. It's, it's just, just a it plays freaky, on your mind. Yeah, mindfuck film. Yeah, it's like is he re <laughs> is that guy living next door? It could well be. Yes. My number three is A Nightmare on Elm Street, the original. Yes, well, yeah, very good. I always wanted to watch it from a young age because all my friends had seen it, and I wasn't able to watch any horror films because I was. Uh, I don't say I weed the bed, but I think I was one of those sort of kids that was like, my mum was fed up with me going in and going, oh, I think it's something in my cupboard and things like that. And I thought, well, that was the whole point of Freddy Krueger is, is that he's like the, the boogeyman that's in your dreams. And that was the kind of thing, like, he could be under your bed, he could be anywhere. And I think Robert England was probably the best sort of guy for it as well, because well, they were going to replace him in, I think, the second or third, third film, they were going to replace him. And they actually did get a new character, guy, well, guy to replace him, and it didn't go well with uh, the test screening. It was no. just a stunt man in, in, in the mask, basically. And they were just going to get some other dude to do the voiceovers. Because his character is yeah. his it's the character. It's the character that drives the film, anyway. I mean, you know, the, the, deaths, the death scenes are quite humorous in some points. I mean, Johnny Depp's death yeah, yeah. scene in it is brilliant because he just gets sucked through a bed and just blood squirts up everywhere. And I enjoyed watching that because this was the first thing I think. I, I think it's the first film Johnny Depp was actually in. And he's still, in, he's still included on his IMDb uh, profile, which is cool. And he's in Freddy's Dead as well. He does I a little did. commercial at the end of uh, yeah. well, somewhere in Freddy's Dead. So, yeah, I just think that film was, well, it was the sort of film that got me into horror films. You know, in my teens, because I want to let him watch yeah, it. Yeah, because it wasn't sort of a slasher. No, it, it was, was a comedy horror yeah. type thing. Yeah, well, Wes Craven was doing well. He was well, he wasn't doing comedy horror to begin with, was it? It was quite no. Um, 
Well, it's well, a paedophile, isn't he? The guy's a paedophile. Was he? Who kids, who kids, not Wes Craven. Oh, what? He's dead. <laughs> like, he's not a paedophile anymore. He's not a paedophile. No. He's never, no. <laughs> He's a child killer, Peter Vaughan, yeah. wasn't he? Um, Freddy. Was well, in the new film he was. That was that was the whole point of the new film. There was but he was a child killer. I didn't know then. whether. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. But, sorry, but then long. obviously, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay, well, we're on my number three, you know. Yeah, number three. Sorry. Uh, my number three is the thing. The thing. Oh yes. man. John Carpenter. Yeah, oh, John Carpenter's the thing. He's brilliant. Yes. He does all yeah. his own music too. Yes, and it's. I, it's what got me into liking special effects and wanted to do special effects, and also, it's it's the paranoia of the film mm -hmm. because you don't know who's been infected and who's not. It's very like you just don't know who's who, no, so no. you don't know if the main character, which I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Sorry, oh, Macready. Christ, just say it's. Um... I forgot who he's called. McCready. Kurt yeah. Russell. Just say it's yes, Kurt Russell. Kurt, Kurt Russell's, Russell's character, yes. What is his, um, McCready. His character, you don't even know if he's been infected. Well, you couldn't tell. No, Nobody so. knows. And that's what was good about it because it was very... It played on your mind. It's a basis to all... Well, very, it's thriller, but it's like, yeah. a, like a thriller type thing. Well, yeah. But it's also very, it was a very like, scary. Well, yeah, it's a basis to like, what we, we see in the films today as well. You get like a lot of films that do the same kind of like yeah. thing. It's like Stealing quite, it, basically. Yeah, ba yeah, basically it was, it was a film that, I know it was a remake. It was a remake. But it was done well. But it was remade really well. And there was quite a few you know? good jump scares in there. Yeah, it was a good, good film. I enjoyed it. The dog freaked me out. All of it. Yeah, basically, and yeah, that thing flopping around. Yes. Yeah. I had a pump that looked like that and I did that to my friend that stuck around his head. He thought it was... But there you go. It's not a big. Um, anyway, my number two is Evil Dead. Oh yeah, I'm in direct somewhere. <laughs> so, <laughs> right, go on. Yes, your number two is Evil Dead. Evil Dead. Well, I would say Evil Dead or Evil Dead Two because basically Evil Dead. It's a follow-up. It's, it's Evil a... Dead Two is just a retelling of Evil Dead. Yeah. It's... But Evil Dead, the, the original film of Evil Dead, was brilliant. The way it was all done, it was all done with a lot of a shoestring budget because and again, Sam Raimi. Yeah. Sam Raimi, I love Sam yes, Raimi. There we go. I just, I, I just think that horror seems to be the thing he he was he was really supposed to do, but you know he's broke into mainstream really well. He's doing all sorts of things, but Evil Dead is his thing that actually got him on the map. Yeah. And Evil Dead Two, even though it is a sequel, it is really a reboot of the first Evil Dead film because the beginning. Of, yeah, it's it's just a re the, the beginning of the film is the same basic basis to to the first Evil Dead, but then you get like. A lot more comedy in the second one. I think to to be fair that you know Bruce Campbell, B movie star, fucking mega star, really he does does yeah, really yeah. well. Like in the film, it's it is it's amazing. I I don't know. I just love that film. It gives it gives people hope mm. that you can you make, can make films like yeah, that. Just I mean, go ahead and do it, don't I? I mean, anyone can make a horror film like that as long as they can get a little cabin and. Yeah, uh, yeah it's just good. Yeah, Cabin in the Woods. Ah, that was a good film as well. <laughs> okay, That's your number mine. two. My number two is uh, Wreck, R E C, like I oh. like the chord, yeah? Oh, it's, yeah. It's, um, I think it's Spanish, but I don't want to piss people off. It's a foreign it's film in subtitles, foreign, yeah, yeah. and it got remade, Americanized. Quarantine. The Quarantine. But the original is always better. I've watched it with subtitles, and I've watched it. The first time I watched it, I watched it a dub version, just to know what was going on. But then you watch in subtitles and you feel everybody's horror, and it's it's people say it's a zombie film. I don't. I won't see it as a zombie film. I see it as more demon infected type film. I get what you but, mean. Yeah, I see. What because you mean. it's set in just one tower block and there's no escape, and they get quarantines. That's why they remade it as quarantine. Um, but yeah, that. That was probably one of the best horror films I've seen ever. It's I haven't seen Wreck, but I've seen Quarantine, and I it's thought been that, shot for that, shot. Wasn't, that wasn't too bad. Like I mean, you know, that film, but like I wouldn't mind watching the, the film. That, you know, yeah, Wreck. yeah, that'd just, be good. it's just a better experience. And it's a lot more films. They they've done a lot more with that, haven't they? They've done yeah. they've done a few more of them. I think it's four now. Yeah. They've done. Yeah, I've seen Wreck one and two, and the third one I think is on a boat, and then Wreck, uh, Wreck four. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. The subtitle for it. Uh, a rebirth or something like that. Something like reborn that. or something like that. I think like it's going back to the Yeah, it's original. like a prequel, isn't it? Like a prequel yeah. to it, I think. Yeah. But yeah, that's, yeah. that's my number cool. two. Alright, number All right. one. Number one. Halloween. 
Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> yes, yeah, mine yeah, yeah, number yeah, one. Yeah, right. That's well, my number one as well. Personally, well, John Carpenter, I mean, the guy's a legend when it comes to horror movies, you know. I mean, Wes Craven, yeah, he's a legend too, but John Carpenter is like the, the grandfather of horror for me. I know there's like a few other people. There's Romero, but that's all yeah, isn't it? And Dario Argento and people like that, yes. but I don't watch his stuff because there's a lot of like weird Very strange, stuff. Yeah. Uh, but um, like yeah, Argento. Halloween. <sighs> It's just it's just got everything that you, you, you like slash slash a movie. It's got suspense. Jamie Lee Curtis is in it, and she's quite tasty in that. To be fair, no, okay. don't see any movies little... in it though, except for that one girl. Yeah, which is all a bit of movies. Yeah, it's obligatory <laughs> tit shot. Yes, but I mean the the music is another thing that, that really gets you as well. You the know music. he's going to kick ass, yeah. and it could be real as well because I mean you know there's a lot of freaky people out there, and that could be a real guy as well. Yeah. You know, I think that's probably what people want these days, is more realism. Did you like the remakes? The first one's Halloween okay. Going to... The first one's okay. I think with that, the origin story, they do tell an origin story. In the... It's a bit long-winded, though, the uh, remake. Yeah, it is. But, like, I mean, the second one, I didn't, didn't know what to do with that one. Because the second original Halloween, it was, like, I didn't mind it. But it was, like, I didn't like the fact that it was literally straight after the film. Do you know what I mean? He went straight into the into the yeah. next film. Yeah, it's a I mean? totally different mask. Yeah, different. but I, I, I just do you know how many people played Michael no, Myers? I don't know. No, three people, I think. Please don't kill me. Please. <laughs> he's not real. No, 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 Michael Myers. <laughs> They've got the fans. Oh, William Shatner, because he's yeah. his face. And do you well, know, he's not William Shatner. the mask as well. It was um, it was all fully painted, and then it got rubbed off. Obviously, where he's pulling all the time. So it was. Mostly white, and then you've got the skin colour around there from when he's because he was spray painted the mask, he spray painted himself. I didn't know that. And yeah, it was William Shatner's obviously turned Face, inside yeah, yeah. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I could go in for hours about Halloween, yeah, sorry. I like Halloween. <laughs> anyway, there we go. Thank yeah, you very much. Dance our horror films, our top five horror films. Went on a bit. I'm sorry for boring everybody, I'm sorry if I offended anybody. I'm sorry because I would have probably offended somebody. I was offended myself. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and if you liked the show, please comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you. Yes. Sorry. <laughs>